It is perhaps the most critical time in an extremely ill baby's life, the first hour of care. It's when a life-saving antibiotic, gentamicin, has to be given, but it can cause a baby to go deaf. It's why what this machine does is so exciting. We would just take a cheek sample and then um, the whole process takes about two, two and a half minutes. This is a world-first genetic testing machine that can be used on the ward to identify whether a baby has the genetic variant that results in hearing loss if the emergency drug is given. This is amazing. Did you ever think you would be doing this, this sort of technology? Medicine? No, it's, it's so advanced. Well, you could be changing the, the sort of the life of a child, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, massively. Yeah. One in 500 babies have the gene change, which means they need to be offered an alternative antibiotic. So this could save the hearing of 200 babies a year. What used to take weeks can now be done in minutes. Kobe loves music, but things could have been very different. She was born with her bowels on the outside and needed critical care. She was also one of 750 babies tested for the gene change in a trial in Manchester. She was positive for the variant and given different antibiotics. The little girl she's become is amazing to see and it's quite distressing to think of that she could be a completely different person as she not have had it. So, yeah, it's great. We're so grateful. The technology is part of a new era of medicine, of matching drugs to people's genetic code. This man helped develop it. He says we now know so much about how we respond to medicine. The question is, how do we apply that in practice? And that's something that I think the next five, ten years will see us doing, actually taking knowledge of that genetic variation and putting it into the hands of clinicians to improve patient outcomes. That's personalised care, isn't it? It is. That's exactly what it is. It's this personalised care that saved the hearing of Kobe. Perhaps when she is an adult, it will be a routine part of the health service. Emily Morgan, ITV News.